So starting the test drive in normal mode in this Tucson inline, surprisingly quite a spirited drive. I was a little disappointed that this one didn't come standard with the 2.5 turbo engine, but it's still pretty impressive even in the normal drive mode. And all in all, the seats are actually quite comfortable. And then having the option to heat them is also great. So the driving dynamics, pretty similar to just a normal Tucson. I do feel like it's a bit sportier. I don't know if it's just all in my head. It's a big possibility, but I just feel like I'm in a sportier Tucson here. Of course, with the steering wheel and just how the seats feel, that has a lot to do with it. But it just feels a bit more peppy to me in this normal mode. And I have it in sport now. And we're going to see how it does. Now, what's great is in the sport mode here, it's not just staying super high in the revs. It kind of is kind of in its own smart mode, which of course you have that option, but even under this light throttle, it's making sure that I'm not at 6,000 RPMs with my foot off the gas. but we're gonna put it on the interstate here, see how it does. So it definitely keeps up with traffic. And it does tend to rev higher than normal, but still nothing crazy. But then when I put my foot into it, it's ready. So lane centering's on, adaptive cruise is on. And just a nice ride coming down the interstate here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty relaxing. So good job with uh, the driving dynamics there for Hyundai. Even with this being the sportier version, I feel like the ride quality did not suffer. Specifically on the interstate there, as I've taken a Tucson all-wheel drive, I think it was an SEL trim level, down that same stretch. So comparatively, nothing that I noticed to be much more different. Now for this end line, I will say, I feel like for that 35, 36 grand range, I would have liked to have maybe a heated steering wheel. Certainly would have liked to have a turbocharged four, but the seats are quite nice for them to be cloth. I like the design. I really just like the exterior aesthetics of the Tucson very much, the inline. It looks really, really sporty. It actually looks a lot sportier than it drives to me. So in this market, I definitely think when I think competitors, I think the RAV4, I do think the Nissan Rogue, especially as, as those have gotten bigger, that makes sense, the Chevy Equinox. And to me, this is one of the better looking ones, specifically since they redesigned it, did a super fantastic job there. Now, in terms of the powertrain, definitely would go with the hybrid. I just feel like the hybrid is a much more exhilarating drive and you're still getting fantastic fuel miles for just a little bit more money. And then the only other thing would be a turbocharged 2.5 for me. And other than that though, this is for the money. People in this segment, they don't really care that much about having the turbo engines or having more power. And those that do, they make a few to fit those people's needs. So for the majority of people looking in this market, this is still a really good option for 36,000, even with just a naturally aspirated four cylinder. 
and have that eight speed automatic. But this will bring me to the end of my review of the new 2023 Hyundai Tucson inline.